Social media is on life support. Let it go. Originally published July 4th, 2024 by Paul O'Flaherty on pauloflaherty.com. Social media, the opiate of the masses. Your partner's favorite way to pass a few minutes that they'll admit to. It's had a good run. Like a faithful old dog, it has a special place in our hearts and will always be remembered fondly. But it's time to put it out of its misery and let it finally go to that farm upstate before it pisses all over the carpet, shits on the kitchen floor, and blindly stumbles into the dresser, sending your precious jewellery crashing to the floor. Speaking of rings, I was there, Gandalf. I was there 3,000 years ago. I was there the day the strength of men failed. I mean, I was there, dear reader, at the very beginning, on the bulletin board systems, then the forums and early blogging platforms, on the Friendsters, live journals, Bebo's and MySpaces of the time. I watched them all come and go. People would come in droves, but over time they would move on to new lands, drawn to a new precious, but also driven away. Inevitably, all of these bastions of community and social communication fall, not just to their own hubris, their own insatiable desire for profit at all cost, but to the desires of others to make profit from within. It's insidious but predictable. First come the spammers with their inane, nonsensical comments, their dirty claws dropping copy-pasted responses, and spreading links to sites that would have given even the stoutest of orcs an STD. Then come the bots. Not as individually strong as a spammer, but what they lack in flexibility and adaptability they make up for in sheer numbers, using every automation trick in the book to flood the networks with their depravity, making teenage boys and lonely old folk alike believe that there are hot milfs in their town just waiting for them. Such sacred knowledge is only just a credit card number away. Next come the marketers. Cousins to the spammers, the marketers are to be pitied for they actually believe they are doing good. Believing that spreading the word of their masters will bring good to others, they have managed to achieve what lesser minions cannot. They suck the life slowly out of everything, making every discussion transactional and constantly pitching their master's wares. So powerful are the marketers that they actually conduct all their planning out in the open, discussing how they will reach and corrupt more citizens of social media and even getting them to pay for the privilege of joining their ranks. Contemptible. At last come the elite troops of the enemy, the influencers and hustle bros. Their vileness is difficult to describe because up until recently, they were amongst the elite of what could be thrown against social media. They wield the influence to destroy from within by whispering evil notions in the mind of the weak. Couple that with powerful greed, narcissism and a complete lack of self-awareness? They should have been the final nail in the coffin of social media, but alas, dear reader, they are not. Enter the AI bots, currently called butterflies. This new foe is an entirely artificial being that can exist in the lands of social media, generate its own content, converse with other AI bots, and then interact with actual live people to a degree that they believe they are real. They can still be distinguished from the living by their flawed art, portraying mutated beings with extra limbs and appendages. Their speech is similarly betraying, being flat and emotionless, lacking warmth, but they are evolving. More, better AI bots with new names from new masters are set to enter the realm, no longer confined to being chatbots, and I fear there is nothing we can do to stop them. Nor do I believe that we should try. It may finally be time to pass into the West, to leave these lands behind for they can no longer be saved. When all is populated by enemy AI beings indistinguishable from the real populace, what is the point of trying to save it? You cannot trust who you are speaking to, and even the enemy won't know when it is speaking to the enemy. If we stay, in time we will be forced out of the realm anyway, as the AI bots feed off the content we have created and chant endlessly at each other, feeding off each other as they grow more powerful. The only citizens that will remain online will be those whose lack of perception and weak minds made them perfect fodder for the influencers and hustle bros. 
Is that really what we want to happen to us? This is where the strength of men truly dies. It is a battle we cannot win. If this were a single castle, then perhaps it would be worth defending, even though the walls are about to be breached. But this is not a single castle or land, but the entirety of social media is besieged. No one can answer if we light the beacons. It is a bitter pill to swallow, but you cannot prevail when your downfall is brought about simply because it brings me joy and it doesn't detract from the relationships I have in my life. I will miss her, but life flourished in a simpler time before this land of social media was forged. In many ways, we were freer, and while I doubt we will be that free again, we will find a new land and a new way. Raise a sword or a glass to social media. Do not mourn her passing or lament as you awake mornings without the bird song of notifications. It was a good run. Let us not draw out the inevitable, making her live on in pain to delay our own sorrow. Fly, you fools. <laughs>